Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's staying safe. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Really appreciate everybody's support, especially early on as a new YouTuber. So today we're talking about the tensions already starting in Dodgerland. That's right, I said this in an earlier vlog, the Dodger organization might have some issues or a ripple effect from signing Trevor Bauer. And it looks like it's already started. But we're not talking about Trevor Bauer. Today we're actually talking about Clayton Kershaw. Now Clayton Kershaw, I'm not going to go into his stats. They're amazing. I have them up here on the side. I had to include that clip just because, hey, it's Clayton Kershaw. He's one of the best players in all of baseball. Certainly one of the best pitchers I've ever seen take the mound. He's quiet, he's professional, he shows up and gets the job done. He reminds me a lot of Roy Halladay. I'm not comparing them in regards to their talent, but in their personality. Trevor Bauer, on the other hand, he's a lot like Marcus Stroman. And again, not comparing how they pitch, but their personality. A lot of flair, very flamboyant, and when he does pitch well, he's got the numbers that back up that personality. But it's going to be interesting to see, considering Kershaw and Bauer are polar opposites, how that meshes out throughout the season. But that's not what I'm talking about here today in this vlog. And I'm not even going to talk about Trevor Bauer and how risky it could be if he does have a season where he throws maybe a 4.50 ERA and how that could blow up in the Dodgers' face. No. Today we're talking about Clayton Kershaw and how the Dodgers are going to have to really work out a contract renegotiation with him to get that extension or that signing done. He's going to be a free agent at the end of this offseason. And one of the rumors that have bubbled up now from them signing Trevor Bauer is he wants three years, $125 million, or four years, $150 million to sign that extension. It's going to be hugely expensive. It's going to push the Dodgers tr maybe up to $300 million in their payroll. And that's why I say this Trevor Bauer contract just wasn't worth it. Additionally, one of the things that Clayton Kershaw just said this week in an interview that I found strange, something he's never said before, he was asked a question, is he going to retire a Dodger? And he said it would be amazing to spend his entire career with one organization but lately, he's rethunk that, and he doesn't mind going to another organization. He's not putting a lot of thought in being a Dodger for life. And what he's saying there is, hey, I want to be a Dodger, but you guys better ante up and pay now. And this is a ripple effect from signing Trevor Bauer. And it could be really interesting to see Clayton Kershaw in any other uniform in 2022. And that could happen if they don't pony up the 40 million bucks now. Or additionally, there's a rift between Trevor Bauer, their personalities, their performance, and maybe they just don't treat Clayton Kershaw like the ace he is. And that's why I said the Dodgers didn't have to make this signing for Trevor Bauer. They could have got James Paxton, even somebody like Tijuan Walker, and it would have upgraded their rotation decently. They didn't have to go out and get a third ace, but they did. So let me know, am I being too hard on Trevor Bauer? Am I looking too far into this Clayton Kershaw comment where he said, I'm willing to sign with other teams in the offseason? Do you think there's going to be tensions in Dodger land this season? Is this just the start? Leave it all in the comments below. More importantly, I hope everybody stays safe out there. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so, and we'll talk soon. Take care now.